still my all-time favorite videos I do is dealing with my prepping and homesteading and sustainable living. Now you see I'm, I'm literally by my gardens. Love this time of year. It's hard work, but it is rewarding to know that we can be independent of the system. Now, if you're not able to grow food, what do we do? How do we store the food that we have? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about 10 things, 10 things that we should purchase this week. I purchased a lot of these this week, even though I'm a sustainable farm, even though we do regenerative practices, our goal is to make sure we have enough prepared and put up for this crazy world that we live in. Today, let's talk about the things that you should be buying. You can buy them from Walmart, that's okay. Buy them with your cash, don't go into debt to buy these things, but put them up for safety and make sure you have some independence without having to rely on someone else. Let's dive in today. Hey guys, welcome to The Max. Thank you so very much for being here today. If you are new to the channel, give us a thumbs up if you like the content of the video and subscribe to the channel. Our goal is to not only make people aware of what's going on with current events, but also how to prepare for those things and make sure we are doing it in the wisest, most common sense way as we try to raise our families in this chaotic world. Now, we've done a lot of stockpile videos. We've done a lot of buy this now videos. This is just one we haven't done in a while, so I wanted to bring attention to the things that I bought this week, some things that you should purchase to put up. Even if you have these things, you need to buy more of them to put them up. All these things are very economical. None of these are just gonna break your bank. If you can't buy all of these, that's okay. Just buy maybe two or three of these and then buy some more the next week and the next. Our goal is to look at prepare and making sure we are safe and independent as we go into a trying time, especially pre-election. Let's jump into it. Number one. Number one is twofold, meaning you either need to build the independence or you need to stockpile the things that you can't do for yourself. I would challenge you to buy canning supplies. You need to learn how to can pints, quarts, half gallons, whatever you're wanting to can. Canning is a game changer when it comes to putting up food and preservation. If I decided to put all these, this 10,000 square foot of peas and garden stuff up in the freezer, then I, I worry about freezer burn. I worry about the fact that I'm having to put it up because of the grid, make sure the grid is strong, make sure I have tons of uh, generators to run these freezers. And yes, I do put some stuff in the freezer, but if I learn how to can, then now I'm taking it to the next level and I'm putting it on the shelf. I'm no longer worried about the grid. It's gonna be shelf stable for years upon years. Now, if you cannot buy the can of supplies, which is the best time to buy right now, because everybody is looking to can, so you typically can buy them. We buy ours off season because we buy so many. But if you're buying by cans, canning rings, all your canning supply, learn how to can. Take a small little co-op class in your area. I bet you money you can find one uh, on Facebook. You can go to YouTube. My wife has tons of canning advice on our channels. So please check out canning. If you cannot can and you do not want to, and I challenge you, you need to, then start at least buying canned foods. Now, I don't just say go buy canned corn. I'm saying buy canned meat. You need a protein source. Start buying canned fish, canned chicken, other canned items that are protein rich. It's not just empty calories. So look at things like canned meat as a very good purchase right now. The price of meat is going up. That, that will still affect canned meat as well. I love buying those little individual packs of, and they're not even canned, they're like in little prepackaged little Mylar bags. They're easier to stack and you can put a lot in there. They're smaller portions. But hey, whatever way that you can stockpile these, start buying some canning supplies or at least some canning meat if you don't wanna jump into learning how to can. I think it's a life skill that a lot of people should know, of course, so think about it. Number two, the, the main thing, number two, water buckets, five gallon water jugs or buckets. Now, I buy a lot of mine from a Legacy Food Supply and also offline, but they have these at Walmart. They're in the camping section where you can purchase. They're blue, and so it's meant to hold water. They're water containers, they're food grade, and you can pick them up for pretty cheap. Now, if you don't wanna buy those, they also sell the clear versions up at the very front where they do purified water where you can fill up the five gallon container. I challenge you not to do that. I don't like clear um, containers. I don't like cheaper plastics. I like food grade, uh, food safe water containers. Again, I like buying the, the ones that are a little bit more expensive and I buy those from Legacy Food Supply. But please know you can get these at your local Walmart. Go to the camping section. These are good purchases because remember, water is the 
water is key when it comes to independence. If you have water and you've got some put up, then you're not as stressed and all of a sudden something happens. Have some water containers. You can pick these up for five, 10, 15 bucks. Now there's some that are 30 and 40 and 50 bucks too, but just pick up the smaller ones and start building a supply of water containers. And then of course you gotta fill them up. Number three, I do not believe in, um, you know, over-the-counter medicines all the time or antibiotics. I actually love uh, herbal remedies. However, we buy mm. pain, we buy pain relievers. We also buy, you know, stomach issue medicine, and then we also buy um, emergency antibiotics. Now, emergency antibiotics you do have to get from like an online supplier, like Jace Medical. We love Jace Medical. There's some discounts below. You don't have to use Jace Medical. There's tons of companies, but we also like having some antibiotics. But if you're not wanting to do that and that's too big of a purchase, that's that is you know 200 bucks or so. If you can't purchase that, that's okay. Why don't you go and you start picking up some simple supplements some, some over-the-counter medicines some simple homeopathic medicines to put up in stockpile think of cold and flu season you can't find anything like tamiflu or some kind of other you know remedy that you're needing nyquils dayquils again not that we believe in that and not that we just take this proactively or try to take this and have it and let it be part of our normal regimen it's not but if we have it I would rather have it and be able to use it if I need it than not have it at all and feel bad or have a major migraine or have heart issues because you need your baby aspirin, whatever it may be. Make sure that you are purchasing over-the-counter meds or antibiotics and or antibiotics and putting them up in stockpile. Uh, I believe in Jace Medical. We have about five or six uh, emergency medical kits that we keep in cars and in inconspicuous places, in homes. The whole purpose is we want to make sure that we have access to the emergency meds that we need just in case. Do you realize there is shortages on medicine? I promise you, if you're elder and you know that, if you're elder and you're dealing with pharmacies all the time, I bet you you have dealt with that already in the last few years. So please pick up some over-the-counter meds, some emergency medicine-like antibiotics. Number four, well, where are we gonna put all this stuff that we're buying? We don't have the room. We live in apartments, we live in cities. Number four, I would go buy some of that cheap plastic shelving. You can pick up the little hyper tough plastic shel shelving from Walmart for like 40 bucks and it stands usually five or six foot tall. They have some there, 60 and $80, but they also have one that literally just pops together. You don't have to put a screw in it. You don't have to have any knowledge of building. They literally pop together and then they can be moved very easy. Elder individuals can pick these up because they weigh like five to 10 pounds, not a lot of weight, but this will help you stay organized and then start prepping vertically on shelves. You may not have the room to put stuff under beds. You may not have the room in your kitchen or in your pantry. Well, think about a little back closet, putting one of these little prefab shelves for 39, 40 bucks at a little hyper tough little shelving you can buy at Walmart. They snap together with little plastic legs, so simple but it helps you stay organized and put these and put things on them. I promise you, we're actually adding space to some of our areas by doing that because we're stockpiling vertical now. So we're putting more shelves and instead of me being able to build, cause this is garden season and everything's going crazy. We've got butchering next week and it's just busy. Hay season, what I've done is I said, you know what, we're gonna buy some of the plastic shelving, take the easy route and put it up so then we can start stockpiling more and more and more very easy purchase here buy some plastic shelving number five probably one of my biggest purchases and not only that i like to do this and we make our own so i mean i do make extra whey protein off our normal dairy cows and we freeze dry it. but buying powdered protein is probably one of the biggest game changers in the deliver the, the recent history when it comes to making sure you have sustainable longevity food systems I don't buy some kind of artificial flavoring protein or some cheap protein. Buy a nice grade of powdered uh, milk-based or dairy-based or whey-based complete protein that is powdered. Now, if you want vanilla or chocolate, that's okay, but buy the natural stuff. You can find the organics. You can find non-GMO versions. Don't buy the artificial, like, you know, birthday cake protein. It's not gonna last long. It's probably not the best for you. Find the ones that don't have extra sugars, don't have additives, and put this up. You're getting, with each scoop, you're getting 20 to 25 grams of protein. My son and I, and all the boys uh, in our family, we try to take in one gram per protein, one gram of protein per body weight. So if we're wanting to take in 150 to 160 grams of protein a day, 
having canned meat and having powdered protein are good sources of that. Now, if we're going to ration it and we're going to be in a stockpile mentality and we are going in an emergency situation, this is an easy way to get a scoop of protein to help your muscles build and to make sure that you can do it in a way that is quick, easy, and it's shelf sustainable. Pick up some whey protein, a complete version of a protein, not no artificial flavorings, natural protein is a good buy today you can pick this up at walmart gnc or order online whatever's the best option for you pick up some powder protein six it is the heat of summer and everybody wants to be outside even if you have an apartment you may have a balcony you may have a front porch pick up a cheap grill you could buy one of those black and blue grills from uh, from walmart or even home depot or tractor supply for literally about 40 to 50 bucks we buy these old things we don't buy these high-end grills because to be honest with you they still wear out just as fast but pick you up one of those little 40 to 50 dollar grills where you can have it this is not for just hey let's have a fun july 4th have fun with it don't get me wrong but this is also for you're giving yourself another way to cook when there is no grid I mean, Biden just put out that he will start this new EPA regulation where it is already showing that the energy companies and the utility companies are saying this will cause blackouts if we have to stick to this plan that this administration is putting forth with the EPA and with the bureaucrats of California. So if you wanna be able to be sustainable, having a grill and having some charcoal, some lighter fluid and matches, you can buy all that. For around $50, you could have you a little grill that can do all the grilling you want to do, buy some bags of charcoal, and literally buy some matches and some lighter fluid. It's a game changer. Not only will you enjoy the time being outdoors, but it will allow you to be able to cook, smoke, and make sure your food can be your food and sustainable and that you're not always eating out of a cold can or you're not having to rely on the government to make sure your utilities are working. A grill is a game changer. I know it seems so simple, but it is a game changer. I make sure that we have three of these little cheap grills in storage just in case we ever need them. I want to make sure that I can cook even without the grid. Number seven, you know, we talked about the camping section. We talked about the water jugs. Well, part of that is you need filtration and water tablets. You can pick up water purification tablets and filtration systems in the camping section of Walmart or Track Supply or any big box store, or you can order them online. Or if you have a local outdoor store that you can support local business, definitely do it. I want you to support local business. However, I know in most of our towns, I know like in our city, there's not a lot of options, mostly as big box stores. Store. So I hate to support those. If you can support local business, do it. But if not, you got to go to these big box stores and find the best deals. I'm telling you, you need to pick up some water purification tablets. Usually Coleman brand or there's some other brands like Sawyer Filtration. All those are good brands. We buy some of these and we keep them in every vehicle and our bug out supplies and also on our shelving at our home. You can pick up those tablets for anywhere from five to about 20 bucks, depending on where you purchase them. Also, you can pick up those little filtration bottles and what they call bladder bags. So that means you put water in it and it kind of seeps down into another little jug. You can usually pick those up at those same stores like Walmart, 10 to $25. Buy these because remember, water is life, but dirty water is gonna kill you just as fast as not having water, period. You don't wanna get sick. One thing I've learned when I've watched all these survival shows, and I used to love watching like Alone and all these shows, the one thing that made them sick wasn't the fact that they didn't have food. They could end up finding food. They could find water, but then they would think that they'd have it clean and all of a sudden there'd be bacteria in the water. Find ways to filter your water. Make sure it is clean and purified to drink. We are used to a fluoride purified water filtered already from the big cities, which is probably not good for us. If we get used to that chlorine and fluoride, then what it is is when we actually get to natural water, sometimes we get sick because we're not used to it. So let's make sure that we are putting in protocols that will allow us to make sure that we have good quality water always in a sustainable survival situation. Number eight is books. You need to purchase some books. Now, we buy a lot of books from local bookstores and like used books or thrift books you can buy online, dirt cheap. Also, Tractor Supply has a whole section of like homesteading books and survival books and how to grow food very great. Walmart has a spot where you can buy books. Sports, of course, nonfiction or, you know, religious style books. Those are great, but you need to find out how to books, skill books, farmer's almanacs. What about canning? We talked about canning, the ball blue book, and also how to can. There's tons of books right there at your big box stores that people just bypass because they think it's no value. We have our phones always. 
I don't want to rely on my phone for all the information. I want herbal remedy books. I want to make sure that I have canning books, survival books, how-to books, because I want to make sure that I do not depend on the grid or on phones always. I may not have data. I may not have internet. So if you want to learn skills, buy the books and you can usually buy these cheap. Books tend to be a lot cheaper because everybody wants this you know, digitized version. Buy paper versions of things so that way you have them just in case you need them and also helps hone in skills and it's good for you to read a good book. And, and again, I like nonfiction, nothing against it, but it may be one of those things that you get how to and build skills by learning how to read, by learning how to do things that could be more valuable to you. Number nine, uh, gas is going up. OPEC just came out and said that they will be cutting more supplies. Saudi Arabia is having some major issues over there. Of course, the Middle East turmoil. It allows them to speculate the oil to go up. Also election season, we will try to keep it down, but we are now depleted our oil reserves. So that's one of those things that's kind of almost impossible unless they cut gas tax and the government never cuts taxes because they want your money. So gas will go up. It's already starting to creep up in certain areas. Buy some gas tanks. Now you need to fill them up with gas, no doubt, but gas tanks, you can purchase gas tanks at local Walmarts. You can buy the extra, you know, nozzles online you need to buy these now i cannot stand new gas tanks that are these epa you know uh, climate friendly tanks i can't stand them i can't stand all the little knobs i like the straight old school way the old school ones now what i do is i typically buy the gas cans at the stores that have all this new innovative breathing mechanisms and then i just go online and buy the old original style top so it just pours that's just me, I'm sorry. But that's what I would do, buy some gas tanks. Gas tanks are not as cheap as they used to be. I remember when I was a kid, we'd go buy a gas tank for five or 10 bucks. Now they're 20, 30, 40 bucks. But remember, they're holding something very precious to transportation and for utilization at your home. Pick up some gas tanks. Buy the red for, of course, gas. We have yellow and blue. Yellow, of course, for our diesel. Blue for our kerosene. We wanna make sure that we are buying all kind of fuels, but we need the tanks to hold the fuel. And number 10, we have a flu going on. I don't know if you know about it, but it's gone crazy and everybody's going nuts about cows and chickens. So I challenge you to pick up some chicken and eggs. Now, this is, this is why I brought up the other points first. Canning meat, canning food is key. Learning how to preserve food skills is key. Pick up some eggs and I would challenge you to buy from a local farm right now, spring. I have chickens. You see the chickens out here. I have a big chicken barn right there. Right now, spring and summer are the biggest times of egg producers, and sometimes they get inundated with extra eggs. This is where you can learn how to water glass your eggs. Misty has a whole video on it. When you learn to water glass, you're putting up that raw egg with its natural bloom that has not been washed into a, a lime mixture, and you can put those eggs on a shelf raw for years. We do it. We have thousands of eggs put up. That way you know that you can do it and make it last and be economical for your egg production because eggs are going up. There was one place in Australia, there's also one place in America that shut down 30 something million birds from laying eggs and quarantined them. You don't believe that's gonna hurt the population of eggs over the next coming weeks, months, and years. So make sure that you are putting up eggs. If you can't buy farmer fresh eggs where you can water glass them, learn to buy them from the store. That's okay, but you can't water glass because they've been washed and clean. So you need to learn how to preserve, preserve them other ways. Maybe dehydrating eggs, maybe putting them up in muffin tins. We break them up, we cook them in the oven, and then we freeze the little egg muffins so we have them for easy breakfast, easy, easy prep. We also scramble uh, some just raw and put them up in, in little ice uh, cube holders and then freeze them and then put them in bags and you know the the taste is not as great as a fresh egg but it's food and that's what's important so buying some chicken and buying some eggs chicken learn how to can it it's a game changer we can all our chicken and man when i tell you it's like a homesteaders fast food we can make chicken and dumplings in a second or we can literally take it and make a hibachi chicken with rice i mean we can have fun with it and it's an easy way to put your food up number 10 pick up some eggs and chicken learn how to preserve it because it's going to get more expensive in the coming days weeks and months ahead all right guys that was a list of 10 i hope this will help you i love making these videos i literally i don't purchase chicken and eggs don't get me wrong we have chicken and eggs here but all these other things i'm literally buying in stockpiling and putting extra up. We are buying more cans. We have about, uh, we keep about 10 to 15 extra things of canning jars and lids. And of course we have those, but we're always buying more. 
Every year we're buying more because we don't want to run out and we want to make sure that we can put up as much food as we can. We're a family of eight, so that takes a lot of food to feed us to be sustainable all year long. These are some great purchases. Please look at some of them. Most of these are not expensive. Learn to buy and put them up. Utilize your cash and some savings because remember, if you have the things like food, you can eat. If you have the things like water you can drink, you can be sustainable. You can't always have digitized currency and it actually do something for you. Sometimes we waste too much money on fast food and on frivolous drinks and, uh, and on buying Cokes and, and all these sodas and all that stuff. Think about how much you can Think about how much you can save by cutting some of that out. Learn to budget so you can buy the things that actually matter. Hope this list helps. Let me know what you think about some of these lists. We may start going back and trying to do some of these lists to help out folks, especially when it comes to very tough times. Protein, food, water, having some utilities, having some ways of skills is all very important. Thank you for watching. God bless.